What is up and welcome back to another video and today welcome back to another video on our favourite medieval show The Last Kingdom. Now season 4 has finished or for me at least it has you may still be watching and today I'm going to be reviewing all of the best characters in this season series. Now, how this video is going to work, I have 10 awards going to 10 different characters, from best villain to biggest glow up. Now, if you like this concept, I want to see it with different shows, I can do that in the future. But for now, we're just doing it with the last kingdom. I hope you enjoyed. Do the subscribe. Let's get into it. Our first award of the day is going to be going to the best newcomer. Now, many great characters have entered the series in this season four, but our four nominees today are Edith, Stick together, Stura and Young Uhtred. Four new characters all still alive and will hopefully be joining us for season five. But only one can be the winner of the best newcomer and it's gonna have to go to our new Mertian friend. It's gonna go to Edith. Now she's had a great story arc in the latest season, going from a weaker opponent to her younger brother and Ethelred's mistress to a strong character likely to pull through and continue to have growth onto season five and hopefully season six. I can't wait to see her back and she picks up the first war of the day. And the nominees, Breeder, Knut, Sigtsigger, and Heston. Now, there are so many great villains, often Danes, when it comes to the Last Kingdom, and this season was no different. Heston is once again still scheming. Bleeder is even more vicious than normal. Knut could have taken Wessex if it wasn't for his last minute mistakes, but the greatest villain of the series is going to have to go to our new Danish ally, Sigtsigger. I think what is great about him is he encompasses all the good and bad of them. You can understand where he comes from, but also you can see the ruthlessness of the character that he is, especially with the execution of Obel. So he takes our second award, Sitzliga, you're the best baddie. Best Warrior. Nominees, Finnan, Sitzlik, Sterpa and Uhtred. Now, yes, we have nominees for this one, but do we really need them? Probably not. Finnan, Sitzlik, Sterpa, you are all brilliant fighters in your own right, but no one is going to match up to Uhtred, I'm afraid. Destiny is all, and he takes our third award of the day. Biggest Glow Up. Nominees, Ethelfled, Young Uhtred, Edith, and Father Pyrrhic. Now, this goes to a character that has risen from a weak boy all the way up to a full-fledged warrior. Now, there have been some great gloves. In the fourth season of The Last Kingdom, Ethelfled has continued to take on responsibility in Mercia. Father Pyrrhic has stepped up since the death of Father Bjerka, but the award is going to have to go to the future Lord of Bevenberg, Young Uhtred. This lad started off as a priest, but has kept his faith, but has also stepped up to the plate when needed. A great season for him, and Young Uhtred gets the award of Biggest Glow Up. Biggest Glow Down. Nominees, Hilt, Edwards, King Quayla, and Senric. Now, while some must go up, some must go down. For these guys, it has not been a great season. Now, Hilt has struggled to get involved in the action, especially in the latest season. Now, King Quayla has lost his lands to Sigtrigger. Senric's death was downright disappointing, but the award for the biggest glowdown is going to have to go to Edward. It was a lackluster season, to say the least. He's gone from losing Wessex, having messed up feuds, and not even turning to battle in Tetanol until the last minute. Hopefully, he steps up a bit more in season Season 5, but it's been a pretty abysmal season for the young king. Narrated nominees Aldhelm, Heston, Usperth, and Father Pulig. Now, some characters hog the line, like you look at Uhtred, you look at Finnan, but others don't always get the credit that they deserve, and this award is going out to them. Now, Father Pulig, I've mentioned him already, has been a great character in this latest series. Usperth is always loyal to Uhtred, but the man who's going to take this award is the man that's always loyal to mercy. Aldhelm, he doesn't always get the best end of results. He got stabbed for God's sake at the end of last season. Well, I suppose this is a fairly violent joke. He has been loyal to Ethelfled, loyal to Uhtred, loyal to Edward. He's been wherever he needs to be and he has been an unsung hero of the series. It's cunning. Nominees, Ethelhelm, Edwulf, Heston and Ludica. Now, there are some very sneaky and very slippery characters when it comes to the Last Kingdom, but these guys take the biscuit even further. Now, whilst Eldwulf murdered his own lord to get more power, the award is going to have to go to the untrustworthy Ethelhelm, even if Edward is unaware as of yet. He may be the man that has killed off Elswith, we don't know, but it's all in the balance, and he has not been the nicest guy when you run through his itinerary. So, the award is going to have to go to the most sneaky, he's still in power, which gives him the credit, it's Ethelhelm. We missed the award. Nominees, Ethelred, 
Father Bjerke, Sterpa, and Senrik. Now, many characters die in this series. It's just a way of life, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna miss them. And this award goes out to the character that we will miss the most in season five. Now, our Sterpa is a great warrior and has been a great servant to both Alfred and Edward. The award is gonna have to go to Father Bjerke, the man that has been there for Uhtred since day one. He passed in the attack on Bebenber, and we're sure that we're gonna miss him in season five. Ian Hyde is also an excellent actor, may I just add that as well. So thank you for your service, Bjorka. It's time to say goodbye. You won't be missed award. Nominees, Elfridge, Bjorkwolf, Knut, and Edwolf. Now, these characters are a complete opposite from the last set. These are the guys, these are the baddies that we will not miss. Sneaky criminal may have taken out some of our favorites. These guys were not the nicest of lads, but only one man can be the most hated in death. And it's gonna have to go to the evil uncle. It's gonna have to go to Aelfrey. The man was shot by his own son, Wiggar, who to be fair, I've said multiple times, looks even more ruthless than his father. But Aelfrey, he won't be missed for all the blood on his hands, including Father Bjerka. Best leader, nominees, Ethelfled, Edward, Sittliger, and Uhtred. Now, somebody has to take charge against the Danes, but sometimes you're just not the right man for it. I mean, ask Edward. He hasn't had a great year, but somebody has been a great leader. Uhtred is a perfect example, but he's not gonna take our spot as he only leads a few men in reality when others around him lead thousands. The award for the best leader, our final award, penultimate award, is gonna have to go to Ethelfled. The Queen of Mercia has done a brilliant job in the latest season of furthering her role, keeping her eye on Mercia and protecting it, and also keeping the bond strong with Wessex. She's done all she can. She fought at Tenhall. She's ridden to their side at Wessex when they got invaded by Sintaga. There's not much more she could do and she wins the Oxford Award. Best duo. Now for our final award we have no nominees. There's only one possible answer to who is the best duo in the series and it is of course going to be our favourite warriors Finn and Citric. I had to get these guys in there somehow, even if they didn't quite win best war, but Finn and Citric are the best duo. Now, that is going to be the end of the video. If you like this style of like giving out character awards and see want to see it in the future with different shows, or even like a later season, leave a like on the video and I'll be sure to do that in the future, but until then, please go subscribe for more film, football and everything else related content. Until then, peace!